Okay, got this all cleaned up. Got this all cleaned up. We're going to screw through all the holes, make sure they're all functional. I dimpled these down flat because they were bent up a little bit each hole. So I flattened them out with my, uh, my little go-to tool right over there. That thing right there makes a lot of noise. And got that done. I just got turned off the air. down the airline. I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way. I gotta decide whether to use the 316 for the quarter inch stripping right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lay this thing up up on here and see what it kind of looks like. I'm leaning toward the 316s. We'll see. So I do a mock-up. Well you know what you gotta do, not just guess. And of course, I kicked the camera too. It was in the way. There, we'll stick it over there out of the way a little bit further. Yeah, that angle sucks though. There we go. How's that angle? This isn't nearly as heavy as the doors are, so it's lightweight compared to that. Yeah. All right with the thin stuff. Appears to be relatively flat. We're okay. Now we gotta decide we want to stick the rubber to the machine or to the door. I haven't decided yet. I'm leaning toward the machine, but. Everything's a toss-up around here, what to do. I know I'm only going to put one layer, not two. I need another uh, piece of foam on the inside of that. protective screen layer. It keeps these bags from rubbing on the side of the door. Let's put a hole in it. This just goes in there. That sticks to it too. It's almost like Velcro. It is shocking. It makes it nice and easy to put in. I thought I was going to have to deal with it. It makes it real easy. I like that. Simple is always good. All right. I think I want to put it against the machine. I think going against the door is going to be a big pain in the butt. Whatever is a pain in the butt. What else is new, right? We got to use this stuff up on something. First thing I do is cut the square. I like the fireworks or 
starting earlier, early for uh, New Year's. All right, I think I'll just put that right across there. Best way of doing this. right over the hole, but you're not sure where they go. where it's at now. Center. Push up on it a little bit. like it. Too late now. Oh, you're getting sloppy on the cut. Okay, now he's gonna go across. Compare where the hole's at. Good spot. Hooks a little bit here. Okay. Here we 
balls out. Good doing this. Get a good job. Don't cut it too short. That could be a problem. Things a little bit of it. Tape that up so it doesn't roll. We'll do that later. Okay. So we gotta figure out where the screw holes are at. I'm gonna get the two lower ones right now. We'll use a door to figure out where the rest of them are once it's up in the air. At least that's the plan. We'll see how that plan goes. I know the hole is going to be somewhere in this area right here. This one I do it in the right spot. The other one too low. Well, hard to get good help. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put that up there and try to catch all the holes. This stuff is kind of soft. It comes off, I think. Reposition it while I still can. The other stuff has a lot more stick on it. This stuff's a little easier. The other one I couldn't take at all. Alright, this goes up here. Behind here. Up in the air. So that's why I need to have these two hooks on the bottom. out a little bit. There we go. Center it up. Okay. Screw should be nearby. It is. Try to get one of these top ones up in there. I'm going to stand on this nice stable platform here. A couple of stool. This is great when you're pushing on something. It pushes right up underneath your butt. Ooh, the hole is right there. That's nice. That works 
good. Pretty good, actually. Okay. Let's see which one is it worth smoking in. Just have the extra holes down here. rusted one that we took out. It's going a lot easier than I thought it would. A lot easier. Get a break every now and then. What the hell is that screw? I think it's the right one. Jeez. A rogue screw in the pack. Well, screw didn't want to go in, so I backed it up, found the spot where it's supposed to be, and moved fine. Don't just keep forcing stuff, it doesn't want to work. So I already checked all the holes, so I know they work. Some are a little bit harder than others, but they all work. This is one of the hard ones. Okay, a couple more on this side. I don't like use power tools on this stuff because I like having to feel what I'm doing. When you just jam stuff into a power tool, you have no idea what you're doing. You can break stuff real easy. like a big gasket you start in the middle work your way out just go down until they feel tight don't force them yet I'm using my brand new screwdriver it's just got a good sharp edges on it Alright, after you do those, then you go ahead and do the end corners. Pushing the stool over, you can't see it. <laughs> okay, that is tight. That one's tight too. That one's tight. Whew, I'm getting hot. I'm working too hard. Up here. Make sure they're tight. So I push harder than turn. It keeps it engaged a bit. Whew. Sweat.
Wrist hurt. All right. That's in there. It's noisy. Big ass gap under here, which I do not like. Hopefully, that's not real world. We'll find out. This is hard to hook up to. Place to hook that. There's a good place. Whew. Tired. All right. I think that'll be fine. A little bit of a gap in there, aren't we? Hopefully that settles in. I'm hoping. Under here. Oh, I hope this definitely is not a big gap under there because it sure looks like it. It's something in there. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll find out. If it leaks sand out of there, we know it's. If it leaks sand out of this gap, we know it's no good. All right. Jeez, it's starting to look like a blaster again. Look at that. Okay, got our doors on. There's our electrical over here. Everything we hang off the darn uh, pipe here. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, that hurt. What the hell? Ooh, that hurt right there. Jeez, that sucker got me. That got me. Oh. Surprised that's not bleeding. It got me at an angle. It didn't get me straight on, I guess. Sure felt like it was straight on. Okay, we're gonna fix that problem. That is a nasty piece of crap to be hanging out like that. Look at that thing. That thing was just waiting to get somebody and I was to somebody. Oh, that was nasty, nasty, nasty. Okay. Okay, as long as you're not going up, you're all right. Bend those over a little bit. Oh. That hurt. That got me good. Got to watch out for those little secret depth traps there. All right. Cable out of here. Okay, that's ready to be plugged in over here. See if our lights work. All right, how's this working now? It opens. It's starting to get a good, good lip going there. Oh yeah, it's nice all the way across. Yep, even there. Get faint right there, but it's there. All the way around to there. Oh, I see a mark. Even down here, very faint. I can see a mark. Right here, it's kind of going away, but I don't really see one right here right now. It's close. All right, well, hopefully it is not an issue. I still got to slam the piss out of it, I guess. 
Ah, got my fingers on the back side. It's a good thing I got new clasps. Boy, that nailed me. Don't have your finger behind that one. You do that. Man, this, thing's, this machine's dangerous. Oh, that's got a pretty good pull on it. Man, that hurt. That's two things that hurt now. Now this hurts more than my finger over here does, but it'll change. Okay, this one's definitely got a very pronounced gasket mark in there. All the way around. Zip even up in there. Looks good, looks good. Ah, right around the corner. Nothing right there. Nothing right there. Not there. From here to here, it's not much. All right, so hopefully it settles down over time. It settles in, because right now it's not hitting. There, that one slammed it. Works better. Okay, we'll come back in a couple days and check that out again. Glass is coming off. Okay, now these, I gotta glue these down. And then I gotta put an extra thick felt up in here to take up the gap, because these little crappy ones they sold me aren't thick enough, see? So we need to put a, looks like a 3 16 piece in there will do the trick. So I gotta deal with that for the window still. I can do everything else. And hopefully another panel will be done. I can hook it back up under the machine where it goes. That'll be up under there. I gotta get all that crap up there all cleaned out and made the work. I'm waiting for the uh, the new mechanism to come in. I found one on eBay that looked just like this. Hopefully it is when it comes here. The one that they sold me was not correct, or at least not this style. So I got a couple coming to look just like that. They should be here next week, or into this week, whatever it is, one of these days. So when they show up, we'll have that functional. I gotta have that hooked up before I can put this thing together underneath, because it goes right inside this hole in here and it hooks down inside the mechanism. So, and there's the old cable right there. So yeah, there's more, more stuff to figure out. All right, well that's it for tonight. Got some good work done for once. The weather cooperated today. So let's go look at our, uh, and wait, but all that junk. Let's go look at the, uh, what we got going on in the oven. It's been a couple hours now, what is it? Oh, fireworks start another 15 minutes. Oh, there you go. Almost nine o'clock. Oh, 10 minutes. Scooby ain't gonna be happy tonight. Appears to be 81 degrees still. Believe me, it's not 81 outside here. Okay, there's the, the glue. There's nothing really holding that in, so it's not holding. There's no way of putting more material in here, really. Get some kind of weight right there would help. But... This stuff I'm gonna wind up having to cut off anyway. Ooh, you see that poked up all the way down the edge down there? You have to go way, way down there. Last push. Doesn't really make any difference. It doesn't want to stick. Last, last half ass attempt to make it go where it's supposed to go. You get what you pay for. You pay for a moron to do a job, you get a moron's work. Oh well, that's it for that. We'll be back in a couple days and figure out how bad it really is. Alright, that's it for tonight on that one. Look at that nice sweet piece of equipment down there. Alright, we're done.